hello guys welcome to the channel kvr softwares here in this class we learn about how to pass exams easily generally we have three types of subjects general languages subjects theoretical languages theoretical subjects and programming languages general languages like sanskrit telugu english and so on theoretical coming to the theoretical languages we have as software engineering uh, software project management software testing methodologies ipr intellectual property rights and so on come from coming to the programming languages we have c c++ java html and so on let us learn some tips now coming to the general languages like english we need to write the author name other writings if any other uh, uh, praisings date of birth some complete details about the author and we have to kept in a box and we need to start writing so that the valuator can uh, see observe clearly about our paper he thinks that uh, the subject is known to you and now coming to the programming languages like c c++ java html for all these we need to write a sample program for every question whether we know or we don't know we don't want it we just have to attempt the question and we need to write a sample program for example in c language we need to write header files we need to write header files or else um, main and some variables like that whether you uh, we just need uh, we just know that basics right so that basics we need to mention in that in that languages like some variables like header files main and everything. it means the valuator considers that you know the subject well and finally theoretical subjects theoretical subjects like we have we already have uh, ipr mefa and some core subjects like software project management software engineering software testing methodologies in this we have to write a lot of theory but we have to write it in the diagrammatic for, uh, diagrammatic form uh, and diagrammatic form is also nothing but uh, like a tree diagrams like we have to follow or uh, or some other diagrams we have to consider the diagrams like that for example we have for example we have a subject in btech like data structures so that data structures can be divided into two parts that is nothing but primitive data structures and non primitive data structures and again primitive data structures can be divided into four types int float char double and again non primitive data structures can be divided into two types linear and non linear here linear can be divided into four types again stack queue array linked list and again non linear can be divided into two types that is nothing but trees and graphs and we have another one also nothing but files so like this we have to present our paper very neatly to achieve more marks thank you for watching please do subscribe watch share comment meet you in the next class thank you